What type of foundation would you use to construct a two-story building in a desert? Or what would be your choice of foundation when you are taxed with erecting a building on a river, on a rock, or on a soil which is usually flooded? In this video, we shall discuss the type of foundation and the conditions on which each of these foundations are going to be utilized. And I bet you, number eight is going to shock you. As you already know, Every building must have a structural member that is responsible for carrying its load and transferring it into the ground. This structural member is what we call a foundation. The foundation is the lowest load bearing part of the building, typically below ground level. It is part of a structural system that supports the superstructure of a building and transmits its load directly to the earth, therefore giving the building the balance and stability it requires throughout its lifespan. If a building's foundation is faulty, it might result in a structural failure that could put the lives of occupants in danger. To put this into perspective, the Tower of Pisa in Italy experienced a foundational failure which made it lean sideways and as a result, it could not be used for the very purpose of which it was constructed. Selecting a foundation type for construction is dependent on two factors. The first factor is the total load of the structure and the second factor is the load-bearing capacity of the soil. Furthermore, we have classified foundation into two categories and these categories involve the shallow and the deep foundation. So let us give us a head start about a shallow foundation. The shallow foundation are often used when the load of the structure is relatively low in comparison to the surface soil bearing capacity. That means we do not have to dig deeper trenches to reach a strata that can pull the weight of the building. This category of foundation is commonly used in construction of normal residential buildings like bungalows. On the other hand, a deep foundation is used when the soil bearing capacity is not strong enough to support the building's load. As a result, there is usually a need to dig deeper into the ground and find a durable strata that has a larger bearing capacity. For example, the foundation used when erecting skyscrapers, multi-story buildings, bridges, and other heavy engineering construction like dams are usually deep foundation. There are basically three types of shallow foundation and the most popular one is known as the strip foundation. Before I tell us what strip foundation is, let me just give you a little throwback story about what it looks like in my country. So you see, in Nigeria, most people carry out their construction with the kind of foundation that I don't even know the name of it at all. The first thing they do is they excavate the soil and they will just excavate it to about 150 mm deep. Probably some people would kind of do justice by digging up to two blocks deep into the ground, which is roughly 450 mm. And the next thing they do will surprise you. Instead of constructing a normal strip foundation, they would go ahead and pour gravels into the trench. And after they've poured gravel into the trench, the next thing they will do is to start construction immediately. These people do not respect any law of structural mechanics or structural construction at all. This, um, this particular practices has actually worked out for the people of Nigeria because we really have natural disaster that could result to a huge tremor which could easily collapse residential structures. And so, even with such kind of practices, the buildings did last as long as 40 to 50 years as the case may be. But that is not something that you should do for those of you that are living in places that could likely be subjected to underground tremor and shakes which can result to collapse of your building. Strip foundation. This comprises of a strip of concrete constructed along the wall of a building. A strip foundation is a type of shallow foundation often used within low to medium rise residential buildings. It is suitable where the ground conditions are stable and with good load bearing capacity. Except when constructed on a rock, the strip foundation should have a minimum depth of about 450 mm, which is roughly 0.45 meters to their underside to avoid the action of frost. And the second on my list is the individual footings or pad foundation. This is the most common type of foundation used when the overall load is supported by column. The foundation comprises of a piece of rectangular or square concrete pad that the column sits on. So we call that particular thing the base, the column base. It is responsible for transmitting point load from the columns to the ground. In most low to medium rise residential building, a pad foundation is used alongside strip foundation. It is often reinforced either at the bottom or at the top and bottom. The reinforcement bars placed in the pad footing 
are usually called baskets. There are different variations of pad foundations. They include plain, reinforced, combined, continuous, pad, and ground beam. However, we shall cover them in a separate video from this one. So let's move on to the third type of shallow foundation, which is known as the mat or the raft foundation. A raft foundation is made of a thick concrete slab resting on a large area of the soil, reinforced with steel, supporting columns or walls, which transfer loads from the structure to the soil. Usually, pad foundations are used when the soil has a low bearing capacity and the load needs to be spread over a large area. As a result, the mat foundation is spread over the entire area of the structure it is supporting. A raft foundation is more frequently used when constructing a basement. This foundation type utilizes the basement as the foundation and ensures that the weight of the entire structure is spread consistently throughout the building's entirety. That means the entire mat under the particular building that is to be constructed would each carry an ample amount of load that is to be transferred into the soil. Hence, each part of the concrete bed that is constructed under the, constru under the building would each transmit the load of the entire building. So the raft foundation is not constructed alone on its own, just like in the combination of strip foundation and column bases or column um, or pad foundation the raft foundation is also constructed combined with other types of foundation. This simply means when erecting or constructing a raft foundation, you are likely to make use of a beam which is going to be supporting the bed, that is the concrete bed, that is going to be comprised of other materials like reinforcement. So the combination of both beams, beds, and sometimes pad foundation would make up a durable raft foundation. Now moving on to the second category of foundation which is a deep foundation there are about three different types of deep foundation that are commonly used in construction and the first which is the most popular is the pile foundation a pile foundation comprises a slender column or a long cylinder made of materials such as concrete or steel that is used to support the structure and transfer structural load to deep strata the loads are either transferred to the ground through skin friction or the end bearing. This type of foundation is most commonly used when a surface soil has a low bearing capacity or when a structure has concentrated load in particular areas rather than evenly distributed load throughout the building. They are majorly used in construction of bridges, high-rise commercial buildings, embankment, dams, and many more heavy engineering construction. The second type of deep foundation is the drill shaft. Drill shafts, sometimes referred to as casing, are deep foundation that work similar to the pile foundation. However, they offer a higher level of load bearing capacity. Construction professionals use an auger to drill the shaft up to 100 feet into the ground. This shaft can help transfer loads of column evenly throughout the structure. From, From the last but not the least of the um, deep categories of foundation is the buoyant foundation. Although this type of foundation is not quite popular, but it has helped save the life of many occupants living in riverine area. Let me explain how this works. The buoyant foundation is designed to support heavy load on soft soils. This foundation acts as a floating substructure and tends to reduce the load intensity over the soil. It is mostly referred to as the floating raft foundation, hollow box foundation, or the compensated foundation. This type of foundation is constructed in areas that are subjected to flooding. The construction is done by first attaching a steel frame that holds the floating blocks to the underside of the house. Afterwards, Four vertical guidance posts are installed not far from the corners of the house. When flooding occurs, the floating block lifts the house and ensures that the house stays afloat on the flooded water. At the same time, the four vertical guidance posts will resist any lateral forces from wind and flowing water, thereby ensuring that the house is not being washed away by the water current. There are many other modified foundation types that are used in the construction industry, but these are the major ones that I have actually put across to us in this video. Can you let us know which foundation type we failed to mention 
in the comment section. See you in the next video.